What is going on, lunatics? Guys, a billion Luna Classic just got burned. 250 billion just got moved off of the Binance Exchange. Something big, something very, very big is about to happen. I'm going to take you through this. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Uh, let's kick it off here and, and let's get into the important part. All right, guys. Yesterday, 1.021 billion Luna Classic were burned. And when you start to poke around, then what you find is top holders. Remember, yesterday, not just yesterday, we were having a conversation about burns and how you know we had 2.39 uh, trillion tokens in Binance. Today, we have 2.19 trillion. So a big, big, big amount. 250 billion was moved off of the exchange over the last little while. 250 billion Luna Classic was taken off of the Binance exchange. The transfer resulted in over a billion in burn tax fees. So that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing these massive moves happening. And the question is, where did it go? Is it going into cold storage? Is somebody you know, really realizing, you know what, let me just pull this off and guess what? Reduce the supply, if you will, uh, pulling it off of exchanges. Of course, the more you pull off of exchanges, the more uh, price goes up, right? Long term. Uh, so, you know, losing a billion tokens over here to this. Now, we've got the other one uh, in four days. We've got Binance going to step up with another burn, which would expect to be anywhere between one and two billion, probably on the lower side of one billion. But um, that's another big and significant amount of burn. 348 million over the last seven days. We're going to add 1.021 billion to that. So, you know, we're continuing to have burns. But remember, it wasn't that long ago we were looking at this and we were talking about like 122. Uh, billion in burns and I was like you know what this is going to triple and guess what it tripled so now we have a much bigger amount that, that's being burned and um, you know it's going to continue on because if you I think it's going to continue on because if you start to look around here and you start to look at these days here you 72 million um, 95 million 107 million 88 million 89 million um, going down this list here, 50, 105 million two days ago, and then boom, a billion. So there's a lot happening right now. Retail is coming back, and when retail is coming back, there's a lot of transfers, there's a lot of moves. Remember, there's a 1.5% burn tax uh, that's implemented on transfers and stuff like that. So that's what's happening. That's what you're experiencing right now. And it's significant. So uh, the question at this point is, you know, can it do something really big? Now, let's talk one more piece right here before we do. Uh, there is... Uh, a Black Friday special, 90% discount from the Stretch Networks here uh, from November 29th to December 1st on Terra Casino. So make sure you sign up today. Also, Wild Spin is now available through Platypus. Uh, and then the World Poker League uh, is giving away 2 million euros from November 29th to December 22nd. That's Season 3. And uh, you can use whatever crypto that you want. We've got a whole bunch of support, including XRP, Litecoin, Chainlink, whatever you want to use, come over here and try it out. Just connect your wallet and start playing today. If you're trading meme coins, then the place to do it is Terraport.finance. Um, total volume over the last 30 days, 1.2 million, 7 0.2 million in liquidity. It's a safe environment. Now, remember, uh, it's been audited multiple times since, um, uh, what is it, over a year ago. So start playing today. Um, also, no update from Terra um, Terraform Labs. But uh, again, we have this burn to account for. So this burn seems like it's a really big deal. But here's another thing that came up. And the first vote, this was TAC999 talking to Leonardo, saying that he thinks that he that, that these guys are going to be gone soon, like previous people. And by the way, who gives a shit? Uh, like who, who cares? Because this whole idea is for the developers to do it. It's not for Leonardo or Ceramic. This is just a proposal and an idea. So, um, you know, they're putting a lot of risk into this, uh, assuming that, you know, maybe there would be, and, and like they're, they're wanting people, look, here's the thing. What we're talking about is a million USTC paid to each developer. Now, if they repeg it back to a dollar, that would be a total of up to six million. Now, look, if there's two developers, it would just be two million. You know, it's not a lot. We're not talking about a, a huge amount. But here's the thing: if it were repegged back, that's what matters, right? That's the part that that matters the most. Now, one million USTC at today's volume is twenty five thousand dollars. So you only get the reward if you get to a dollar, right? You that's that's the whole thing about it. So uh, there'll be some consideration. And I do believe that today is the 27th, which is where we should see the discussion starting on uh, Commonwealth. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, also up is Vegas putting up a proposal for the Terra Classic 
dashboard update. Now let's look at price. Uh, Luna Classic trading at 11.704 right now, three zeros. I told you guys, I think that what we're gonna do is consolidate in range right now until the end of the year. Uh, maybe a little dip down here for a retest at 409. Uh, maybe a rip up here to 3015. There could be anything can happen, be, especially when you have a billion just getting burned out of nowhere. If that happens again, that'd be another billion. You know what I mean? And then a couple days later, you get another burn from Binance between one and two billion. So there's some significant opportunity here for some upward and, and downward movement. I don't think it's going to result in a breakout. I don't think that breakout happens until January. So what I would say the safest bet, the safest wager that you could make would be that you're going to kind of, cons by the way, I'm just kind of lay this out here right now so that you can, uh, but, you know, just kind of consolidate in that range right there. And that would be probably the most likely scenario. Doesn't mean it'll happen. But that's the most likely scenario. So uh, we'll see how these burns factor in. USTC, largely the same thing. It's just, it, here's the thing. It's been consolidating in range for a little bit longer. But the fact that the USTC proposal repegs it back to a dollar means I think people are going to get super, super interested. And I mean, look at your risk tolerance. Uh, if it goes up to six cents, you're still looking at it like, oh my God, it's going to go to a dollar. That's an easy 12x, you know, 15x, 13x, you know what I mean? Uh, so it, it continue to move up here uh, to, to up as high as 15 cents. I gave you 15 cents a long time ago. And I said, I think that's the maximum that we could get to right now in the current environment. Uh, so if we were to get to 15 cents, then you'd be looking at it from this context. You'd be saying, you know, that's still a 7X from where it is right now. That's worth the investment and worth the potential risk. So, um, you know, you, you might see USTC break out a little bit uh, compared to Luna Classic. So, um, uh, and you're seeing 2% increase right now while 0.6 for Luna. But uh, the market's up today. I think we're still going to dip and dump. I think the Bitcoin at 88,000 still looks attractive. I don't know that the market's going to let us get down there, but you know the possibility certainly exists. Now, uh, these burns over here, 348 million. Look, there's, there's a lot going on, right? Uh, and now, um, don't forget, we talked the other day about uh, FRG, Future Rewards Group, and we've got the Lunk Zombies game on Big Bang X. Now, I'm going to click on this. If you have not played so far, then here is your game. I'm going to mute this. Give me one second here. I'm going to mute this site. All right, so we're locked and loaded over here. We can start with the warm map. We click on this part, uh, then we click on this, and then we get started over here. We click on enter, and now we're playing with power. Now we're fighting, and what we're looking for is to move a little bit closer because what I wanted to do uh, which I didn't was to get that right there. So now we're shooting a little bit faster. Uh, but if you were so inclined and interested and you like gaming, then this is a great game for you to take an opportunity for. Um, Lunk Zombies. Uh, and, and by the way, it, you notice right here, taking me a little while to blow this thing up. The reason that it is is because I don't have, and let me, uh, I don't have uh, an NFT. If I had an NFT, then it would be shooting way, way faster. That's uh, what the NFT helps provide you. Makes you a little bit stronger, gives you a little bit more um, of whatever it is that you need in order to survive longer. So buy yourself an NFT while you're at it. Uh, the NFTs are, of course, on the Big Bang X marketplace. Not only that, you have the Telegram, you have staking, you have farming. Uh, you can buy it on Terraport or on CoinHaul. And there's your validator information if you want to use FRG as your validator of choice. Um, again, if they vote the way you want, then you should validate with them. If they don't, then don't. You know what I mean? So, um, but check it out for sure and let me know what you think. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm going to wrap this up real quickly today. We're looking for, to, we're looking for, we got the proposal, by the way, to update the dashboard for Terra Classic on CoinMarketCap from Vegas. So we'll see how that goes. But what I'm curious about is what is Leonardo going to do over here on the Commonwealth uh, and what's the discussion going to look like? That's what I'm going to be look, looking for today. Uh, but listen, I, I'm not sure if this market is going to send Luna Classic to the moon. Uh, it's starting to look like we're consolidating. We're starting to get these big pieces. $250 billion being taken off of the, the, the Binance exchange. That is gigantic. That is gigantic, okay? You know, we should consider all these different things here. Um, and Binance might, might, may not like that. That was a that was a big move, uh, but you know what 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 if it happens again and again and again and again? You know what I mean? Uh, and then we start to look at all of this uh, money coming off of Binance going onto our normal chains, and then when we look at these markets, 
then you know we're seeing this volume being traded you know right now by the way btcc still at 20 million i mean maybe it's btcc that's making the buy i, I have no idea at, at this point but uh binance still uh, the one with most volume the most trusted volume if you will by the way it should be known coin market cap is owned by binance so um, that's why there's a high level of uh, ver uh, validity and verification for uh, for that. And of course, they're whitelisted. So, um, you know, they're not actually all these transfers right here are not creating burns. They're doing it off of the fees that they earn. So um, there you have it. So, guys, just hold on for dear life, because I think something is about to happen. I'm not sure. I think it would happen to USTC as opposed to Luna Classic. So, uh, but that will lead to Luna Classic absolutely exploding as well. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until then, um, uh, tomorrow is going to be Thanksgiving in the United States. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, thank you for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again soon.